Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGym007 and today we're looking at the Advanced Ban plugin. Now this is a really awesome punishment plugin which has a ton of features, it's really easy to use and it's very easy to configure as well. So, first of all, if we do the forward slash advanced ban command, that's going to show you a little bit of information, so the version you're on and the dev. So we are going to jump straight into the commands and just like any other punishment plugin, it's going to have a mute command. Now if we do forward slash mute with a minus s after, that is going to be a secret mute, so they won't get a notification about it. If you want them to know, then just don't have that. So put their username and then we have example layout. Now these are by default in the config file and they allow you to have a reason without having to type out a super long reason every time you mute or ban someone. So we've used example layout number two and Chris Delano has been muted. So let's jump over to his account and see what that looks like on his end. So on my other account, you can see in chat, it says advanced ban, ban for offensive language, and there's a little message there as well. So that is because of the layout that we chose, layout number two, and then if he types in chat, it's not going to allow it, and the message pops up again. So that's how a layout works, it just makes it quicker and easier to mute or ban someone. So maybe they've learned the lesson, we can go ahead and unmute my other account, there we go, very straightforward. And obviously with a plugin like this, you are able to temporarily mute or ban someone. So let's go ahead and do that this time, and we're going to do it in secret, so minus S, Chris Delano, and then we can choose an amount of time. So obviously replace the X with a number, so let's do 10S, which is going to be 10 seconds. And then we can choose a reason, or we can just type one out. So let's choose example layout number one, and you can see he was successfully muted for 10 seconds. And because we use minus S, it's not going to notify him. So another cool feature is the warning feature. So if someone's being naughty, but you don't want to kick or mute them, you can do forward slash warn their name and then use a layout or type a reason. And that's just gonna send them a quick message to let them know that they are up to no good. You can also kick people by doing forward slash kick their username and then giving a reason as uh, like with the other commands, and that's gonna kick them. So this is what we got for the reason. Now this reason is um, for hacking, so we probably wouldn't want to use this if we're just kicking them. Uh, but it says banned for hacking by myself, and it seems like you're using a hacked client, etc. And then down at the bottom we've got a TeamSpeak IP and a forum uh, link if they want to try and get unbanned, for example. So we can do forward slash temp ban, or temp ban IP if you know that. Choose their name, and just like before, you choose the amount of time, and then you can select a reason. Now you can obviously type out a reason if you don't want to use uh, one of the layouts and you can just type, I don't know, for being very bad and stuff like that. And that's going to ban my other account for 10 seconds and then if we jump over to my other account you can see that we have the reason, we have the duration and it only says temporarily banned up at the top. So after about 10 seconds we are going to be able to rejoin the server so if we have a go there, there we go, we are back in. So maybe you have a player who is continuously doing bad stuff, there's only one thing for it, he needs to be banned permanently. So if you do forward slash ban or ban IP to stop him from using other accounts, then his username or IP address, and obviously you can choose your reason or uh, type one out yourself, hit enter and that is going to permanently ban them from the server. Um, and obviously they're going to get the message whatever you typed or whichever layout you chose. And then what we can do is forward slash check and then type a username. So I'm going to type my other account's username and it's going to come up with loads of information. Uh, I'm going to block out that IP address, but it shows their country, whether they're muted or not, whether they're banned, the reason for it, how many warnings and notes they've got. So it gives you a good amount of information about a certain player and what they've been up to. So you can always do ban list and that's going to list all of the different bans, whether they're permanent, the times they occurred, who banned them, uh, etc. Uh, which is pretty useful um, if you want to check something like that. Then obviously you could do forward slash unban and their name or IP address if they learnt the lesson and done an appeal or whatever. And then another really useful command is the forward slash history command. Um, doesn't work on myself because I haven't been naughty. But with my other account, if we do this, it's going to show loads of information. So it's going to show all the warnings, the kicks, the bans, the mutes, everything, when it happens, who did it, the reason for it which is really useful if um, you know someone says I haven't done something before, you can quickly check and uh, you know prove that they have been in trouble before. Finally, we've got the advanced ban reloads command. If you've changed something in the config file, uh, you can do that to allow it to be used on your server. 
So that is everything in game. Let's head over to the config file now and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and we are in one of the YML files. So this is the message.yml. And what you can see in here is the different layouts. So this is the first one that we used, and this is the band for hacking, band by operator, which obviously showed myself, and it showed a little message as well. And then we've got the TeamSpeak and forum bit at the bottom. Then we had example layout two, which was banned for offensive language, and then we don't tolerate swearing, etc. And then I've just created this one. So this one's called kick, and it just says kicked for a good reason, and we don't tolerate bad stuff on our server. So it'd be a good idea to create um, a few of these. So for kicking, banning, muting, for different reasons like you know swearing, being bad, hacking, whatever the case may be. And that allows you to select a specific one depending on what the case is for some being bad. So up here you can change uh, various variables. So you can grab the reason, the prefix, duration, date, ID, the operator who banned them. Um, and then down at the bottom we've got all of the time so example layouts are 30 minutes two hours four months permanent so you can choose which one you want to use depending on the severity so if we head over to the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.7 to 1.16 there you can see a description we've got all of the commands down here so you can see minus s means silent punishment so no notification scroll down even more we've got all of the permissions that you might want to use so give your staff members the ability to mute and kick people etc but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time <laughs>